today our verse is John chapter 21 verse 3. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Jesus had been crucified, buried, and now risen. He had appeared to the women and the disciples, but they were still afraid of the Jews. Because of fear, they were hiding. Fear can have a positive or a negative effect on our reactions. It can paralyze and make one retreat. But it can also make one respond positively to fight back at the object of fear when one has reached a dead end. We can see both aspects playing out in the disciples. Up until now, they have been afraid and went into hiding. This fear will not be totally eliminated until the day of Pentecost when they will receive the Holy Spirit and be prepared to die for their Lord and Master. However, we see signs of pushing back already in this text. They want to go out. They cannot continue to hide. Yet, they were not confident to go out during the day. So they went out at night. The disciples were eager to go out of their hiding that once Peter said, I am going fishing, the other two disciples with him were willing to follow him. Yet, they went out at night. One could say they went out at night because as professional fishermen, the night was the best time for fishing. That is right. That could be correct. But they could also be going out at night because of fear. And that is the way I'm seeing the text. Probably they did not want anyone to see them during the day. Jesus only appeared to them when they had labored all night. Jesus came to the shore. But they were already giving up hope because it was already morning. What do we learn from this verse? Fear can be a hidden monster that affects our Christian life. Like the disciples, we may choose to be boxed in in our own little space or decide to go out as people filled with hope and with the Spirit of God. Also like the disciples, we may sometimes work hard and get frustrated that we are not making ends meet. But the good news is that the reason Jesus is always close to us in our fears and worries, in our challenges and frustrations, He's ever there. He stands at the shore, watching us, looking at what we are going through. Just call upon Him. He's there. And He will come and respond when the times are tough. He sees us. He knows what we are going through. So what is your difficulty today? What are you going through? Turn to Jesus. He's there by the shore and he will come to you. Lord, when we are afraid or getting frustrated because of problems, stay close to us and console us with your presence. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day.